My name is Amy Kahneman. I'm the writer director of Dakota. I'm going to skip you back just a little bit. Go ahead. There you go. So and that's all? That's the direction? That was my entire direction. I used to play a lot of poker when I was writing more for a living, and I would write during the day and play at night. Met a lot of really interesting people and would sort of play and take notes while I was playing. So I've been wanting to tell a story about poker and the world of poker, the people involved in that world for a long time. Justin, what's the difference between an elephant and a matter baby? What? What's the difference? What's a matter baby? What's a matter baby? What's a matter baby? I'm Sal, Sal Velez, and I'm actually playing the uh, character of Ball Guy. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not bald yet, but I'm sure I'll get there eventually. This is the one, fellas, this is the one. One what? I'm gonna give you a run for your money. My name is Bill Macy. I'm actually bald. <laughs> and, I'm, <laughs> and I'm playing, what's my character's name? You are Richard playing Gra Old Man. Oh, Grandpa, you see? Yep, yeah. Grandpa. Here we go, Might be good. And action. One of the things that I find very interesting about poker is to me it's the ultimate meritocracy. It doesn't really matter what race you are, what sex you are, how rich you are, how poor you are. If you have the winning hands, you have the winning hands. And I thought there was something so beautiful and simple about that. Amy's blown me away at every moment. I mean, she's so precise, soft, consistent, knows her shots, takes risks. Amy took me down to Commerce Casino. We gambled together for a bit, kind of scared off all the gentlemen. You know, Amy and I sat down and we were like, Whoa had our poker faces on, and they were like, oh my god, are you guys sisters? These guys are hustlers, like, what's going on? Like, two women at the same table are just ridiculous. I was also really interested in the, the behavior and the mannerisms and the sort of the etiquette of poker and the, how it's its own language. There are some very standard tells that, I mean, I don't know that all of them, but there are some really across the board tells that crappy players or whatever, non I'm just not convinced that, that behavior is enough alone to be a tap. No, well, you have to know the person, how long they've been playing, how you're studying them, right. and what they might have. I know there's certain eye movement ones that have to do with, you know, like if you look up and to the left, that usually means you're lying. I had a person once I was playing against who was an older woman, and she actually went like this. Yeah, well, by the way, that's the simplest no, tell. She has a straight. Right, that's the simplest one. If you see someone look at their cards and check it out, which almost not very good players can't help it. You know, they'll be like, right, by the way, this would be a good thing to do with this hand. Like, if you, I mean, that's what I would do if I got aces. I'd be like, I'd quickly check it out and then put my cards down. And then when the river comes or whatever, I would check my cards again. Because if people are watching me for a tell, they're figuring, okay, well, he's trying to figure out if he made his hand. It's a really interesting place and it's a very interesting phenomenon to sit at a table, particularly if you've never sat at a table before.